Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic and categorical syllogisms, looking at Boole Venn diagrams part two. In this case, we're going to be looking at X's on the line. So take a look at the following argument. I, A, I, figure one, some M, R, P, all S, R, M, therefore some S, R, P. What we're going to do is we're going to do the universal first. We're going to shade in that side of S. Then we're going to look at our some M, R, P. It's important to note that there are two places our X could go. It could either go in the very center of the diagram or it could go in the area that's only shared by M and P. Because it could go in either place and we don't have any premises to tell us otherwise, we're going to go ahead and put that X on the line between the two areas. Then we'll look at our conclusion, some SRP. This could possibly be true if that X fell into the center, but the X could also fall into the side that only has M and P. So because we can't be for sure on it, we're going to call this an invalid argument. Figure 1, A, O, O. All M or P, some S are not M, therefore some S are not P. We're going to do our universal first, fill that in. Then we will look, some S are not M. There are two different places the X could go. The X could go in the area that's only S, or the S could go in the area that's shared by both S and P. So once again, we'll put it on the line between these two areas. So the conclusion, some S or not P, is not going to appear, and this is going to be invalid because the X could in fact be in the area shared by them as opposed to S by itself. So this is an invalid argument. Finally, figure one, O, I, O, some M or not P, some S or M, therefore some S are not P. For the first statement, we're going to put it on the line between the area shared by S and M and the area of M alone. For the second statement, we're going to put it on the line between the area shared by S and M and the area shared by S, P, and M. And we're going to look for our conclusion, even though it may seem that this conclusion appears it in fact doesn't, because both of these X's could be bumped out of that area where some S are not P, having some S be P and M, and some M just being M by themselves. So it's going to be invalid. That was Boole, X on the line. Next up is Mistakes and Tricks and some Aristotelian Venn diagrams. Watch this video and more at Carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.